I'm John Barker, County Extension Educator in Knox County. Uh, started in 1991, so I've been here about 30 years. Uh, really lucky to have farmers like Dave to work with. Over the years, we've had all kinds of trials out here. What we've got going on out here this year, we've got some sulfur treatments going on in both corn and soybeans. We keep getting told that we're losing sulfur. We're not getting um, environmental sulfur anymore. Um, sulfur is not an inexpensive thing to add. So far, it's a visual effect on the corn, um, but we take it to yield and we'll see if it see if it pays off in the fall. It's it's an expensive thing to use per acre. We take everything to yield and put economics to that because the bottom line is what's so important to these guys. You know, they they've got to be able to show a profit and be able to make money to be back in the game again next year. Well, one to one doesn't get it. You know, spending a dollar to return a dollar that's that's a waste of my time. It it has to have a return on investment over the labor and management cost that it takes to put it in there. Most of the farmers in our county now have dropped their soybean seeding rates down to what they've seen from the e-fields research. If that was on-farm research, and it's you know it's their neighbor, it's their neighbor's friend, it's someone they know, and it's and it's really easy to say you know what these guys are making this work. We can make it work too, and and we're we're measuring it, so we've got the results. Both of our plots were located near Centerburg, Ohio. The product we used for the sulfur treatment in this plot was a product named Extract. The analysis of Extract is 60013. We applied this product pre-emergence at a rate of one gallon per acre. A little bit about the field data this year, uh, we had outstanding weather in this part of the county pretty much the entire growing season. There's, these plants were under little to no stress and we had tremendous yields. There was no disease or insect pressure and we had excellent weed control. The seed drop was about 145,000 plants per acre. Due to some problems with my data collection equipment, I am unable to publish the results from our corn sulfur trials this year. I can say that throughout the year, the treated areas did exhibit a darker green color. However, as we have seen in past years, that does not always translate into an increase in yields. In our first pot, we had four replications. The treatment yields ranged from 66 and a half bushel to the acre to nearly 76 bushel to the acre, with an average of just a touch over 71 bushels to the acre. In the no treatment areas of those plots, we range from about 65 and a half bushel to the acre up to just a touch over 70 and a half bushel to the acre, which gave us an average of nearly 67 bushel to the acre in the non-treated area. In the second plot, we also had four replications. The treatment yields range from about 75 bushel to the acre up to almost 84 bushel to the acre with an average of nearly 81 bushel per acre in the treated area of this plot. The no treatment yields range from about 75 bushel per acre to up to about 78 bushel per acre with an average of nearly 76 bushels to the acre. We wanted to tie in some economics to that as well. We used a local cash harvest price at a local elevator of $10.23 to the bushel. Uh, the treatment cost was $12.63 per acre, and we also used an $8 per acre application charge. And when we did the math on all that, we ended up with a positive net return of $12.63 per acre in the treated areas of these plots. We performed the same economic analysis on this plot as we did the first one, and we came up with a positive net return to the treatment of $27.55 55 per acre. In Knox County, I have done sulfur plots in both corn and soybeans for many years. A vast majority of the time, while the treated areas of the field may look greener, there has been little to no difference in yield, and oftentimes we see a negative net return. This year was different. We showed a positive net return to sulfur in both of our plots. And um, it's, it's extremely beneficial for us, and we're extremely lucky. We're extremely lucky to have it. Even though he's from Illinois, we're still extremely lucky to have him. I knew there was more coming. <laughs> Want to learn more? Visit the link on the screen to get your copy of this year's eFields report.